So I'm Francis Disley, and this is Pattern Buffer. There's lots of inspiration for this show, so I'll go into like a few different things. But uh, a thing that overarches a lot of recent work is trying to analyse what it is about gallery spaces that can be quite um, intimidating or ra raising your anxiety levels. Because even as an artist, I find uh, gallery spaces quite uh, intimidating and off-putting. I find myself stood in them wondering whether I've looked at the artwork for long enough or you know how to kind of behave. So I were, I, I've tried to unpick like the ambient factors in a space that actually add to that. And the first thing would be the colour of spaces as well. So often like your bases are white. And I've been talking to some researchers that work at the University of Salford, psychologists, and they showed me a paper uh, for a study that was made in the US in uh, halls of residence for students where they tested out different colours um, and, and the two colours that lowered people's anxiety levels the most were a um, beige green and a light blue so they're the colours that are in both of the spaces and so, so the, both of the spaces are supposed to be relaxing um, also if I'm analysing why people feel anxious in gallery spaces as well. Partly, I think, this idea that you don't know what to do. So furniture is dead important to me. So people can, if there's somewhere people can sit and have a think or just drift away. Or like in this downstairs space, there's uh, dominoes and jigsaws. So people have something to do, something to kind of play with that's familiar. Um, and the other inspiration is like my obsession with Star Trek and sci-fi. <laughs> and um, the, there's a reoccurring thing that takes place in um, all of the series after the original series, well, the first few, uh, the space that's on each of the starships called the holodeck, which is a space that the, the officers use as a leisure place. So people pick a program which is synthesized to affect mood or give them a, a moment to, to relax. So I like the idea that the gallery could turn into that. So it's a space that um, molds to what you desire for your leisure activity. So it's kind of like a trying to um, make a parallel between the gallery and the holodeck, but the idea that like every time an exhibition happens in a gallery, it's totally transformed. So it becomes a different like program, as it were. Yeah. So that so the the um, the grid that's in both of the spaces alludes to this holodeck idea, and in theory, both of them are my holo program. So um, they're things that I think will r lower your anxiety and stuff. So I've been talking to the, there's the two psychologists at Salford University and um, talking to them about spaces and what things affect people's mood and anxiety levels. So spatially, uh, things like being able to always see the exit and the entrance to a space so you know that you can leave at any point. Just general things uh, to do with comfort and this colour way that I've mentioned before, but also um, research into the impact of uh, like greenery. Apparently, there's studies into where um, people spending time with like green roofs or going for a walk um, in a green space on their lunch break. Apparently, has like cost cognitive restorative benefits. So people come back to work all energized. So I like the idea of trying to test that out, that whether having a load of plants in the space can lower your anxiety and make you feel calmer. There's also something kind of familiar about it. So downstairs and upstairs, the, that kind of thing is supposed to be kind of creeping into the space and, and bleeding into the um, surroundings. There's also a parallel with the type of plants as well. So downstairs and upstairs, there's lots of bromeliads and moss. 
and they're all types of epiphytes, which are plants that live on other plants, or like so that um, so epiphytes, uh, bromeliads live in the jungle in South America, and they just live on other trees, and they don't take anything from them; they just use them as support. But I like the idea that an artwork is like that. So an artwork uses the gallery as like the tree or the support, and then is taken away and moved somewhere else. So kind of like that, that sort of parallel. This particular type of bromeliad in the downstairs space is something that reoccurs in Star Trek Next Generation at the head of everyone's beds. So that's kind of like a bit of a sci-fi nerdy yeah, reference. But there's loads of testing um, that I've done through other, other kind of like exhibitions and uh, a project that I made, it, I worked on in Bootle. In, in the library there where I worked with the public to design um, relaxations. So, we t so I was interested in the idea of trying to demystify uh, like well-being practices which I think are, can be really exclusive. So I think sometimes like yoga and meditation and mindfulness can feel like it's like uh, not for everyone and that you have to be part of a group or have to have all the kit and all that sort of business so I was really interested in trying to pick apart what that was so that people could take ownership of it and use it themselves so we um, I ran a load of workshops where people designed their own guided visualization and like made their own sense and designed all sorts of things um, so that that research has definitely led to the the work that's gone on upstairs. Um, so I'm interested in giving people multiple reasons to come back to this space as well. And I'm really conscious that galleries are publicly funded open spaces that are free for anyone to come into, but often they're really underused. So I was trying to think about ways um, to make people feel more comfortable or at home so they could linger or say you want to go to the centre of town and you fancy doing a bit of work on your laptop or reading a book. I really love the idea that people could come and sit in the space and, do, and feel comfortable enough to do that.